Okay Nadine, we've finished this pump and gas valve um, on this boiler. So I just want to just summarise um, what we've done on the boiler and the pump. This is part of your learning process, a part of the um, boiler repair training and how good we do with our training. No matter how new or old the students are, the way we do the training is the fundamental key for people to understand no matter what level they're at. So Nadine's at the start level, so we're just going to go through his idea of the summary of what he can remember of what we've done. So just give us a rundown of what you can remember what we've done. We came into this premises and uh, the first thing we do is turn off the power. Yeah. Just so. Yeah. Will I, do I yeah. turn off the power? No, no, no. no just so we turn off the power. It's a glow one Ultima, so we pull the cover out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to pull it out, just tell me. Okay, we slide the cover out. Under the cover you'll see um, two um, butterfly clips on yeah. either side of this uh, outer cover. So you remove the butterfly clips and this then simply pulls out, mm -hmm. pulls down. Mm -hmm. That exposes the entire internal section of the uh, boiler. Yeah. What we did with this particular boiler is we changed the solenoid valve on the main burner, on the gas valve. So in order to do that, um, first of all, we ensured that the ga electrics was off. Mm. Then we um, turned the gas off. There's a mm. there's a small um, uh, uh, gas uh, on off here. Yeah, uh, gas tap. Yeah. Gas tap here. So we simply screwed that uh, uh, into the off position. Then we proceeded with um, taking the cover off. There's a black cover on the actual um, gas valve itself. Yeah. It's held in place by one screw. So simply unscrew it. Take mm. the um, cover off. That exposes the solenoid underneath the gas valve. Yeah, wonderful. Once you've got the gas valve uh, the solenoid exposed, you'll see two uh, clips with live and neutral, and you'll yeah. see an earth cable um, on on the solenoid itself, on on the valve itself. Yeah. So unplug those. Mm. Unclip the earth. Yeah. Um, once that's done, um, there's a there's a kind of a a, a, a flat spring, if you like, yep. holding the uh, solenoid to the gas valve. Mm -hmm. um, quite, uh, it, it, it's hard to explain without yes. physically seeing it. Anyway, get a grip, so get get a grip or something, and just screwdriver, a screwdriver, and pull that out. Yeah. Once that's pulled out, it loosens the solenoid from the body of the gas valve. Once it's loosened, pull out the gas valve. Yeah, solenoid. Yeah. So it's like this: the solenoid. Yeah, pull yep. out the solenoid. Um, change it over with yep. the new solenoid, put it in, and it's basically the exact reverse of what I've just said, yep. to put everything back together again. Yep, excellent. Uh, have I missed anything out? Um, no, that's it really, put no. the gas back on, gas back test on, it. Yeah. Test it, yeah. Yeah, excellent, yeah. So that's a quick summary of what you've done on the boiler, so that's great, and that's what we're looking at. Uh, so you covered most of the points on that. So part of his learning, the next thing what he's going to do, he's going to do a theory on this because at the end of the day he's going to write this down in his book. So he's got a mental note, he's written note of what he's done, the theory part of what he's done. And then tomorrow I'll ask him again um, what he's written and he'll just go over that. So he's got that imprinting in his mind, he's writing it from his mind, he's remembering what he's done and this is how he's going to learn and this is how anyone can learn doing this type of exercise with the bar repair training with a and R boilers. So that's really good, Nadine. So if you like what you've seen, um, give us some comments and um, that's great. So cool. We're going to move on to the next job and we'll see you on the next video.